Hello students, in this video lecture I am going to discuss the three houses, three utilities problem. Now the three houses, three utilities problem is, a, is an important practical application that we have in a field of mathematics called graph theory. Now before I actually come to the three houses, three utilities problem, let me give you an overview of what graph theory is all about. Now as I already said, uh, graph theory is a field of mathematics or it is a branch of mathematics. So in this uh, field of mathematics which is graph theory, we basically deal with diagrams which are called graphs. And as far as a graph is concerned, a graph has two basic components, uh, points which are called vertices mathematically and the lines joining those points which are called edges mathematically. So every graph that you have in graph theory will have two basic components, vertices and edges. Now once you know uh, what a graph is, uh, let me just consider an example of a graph. So here in, is an example of a graph uh, where uh, you have uh, a diagram which uh, has points and which has lines joining those points and these points as I already said they are called vertices mathematically and the lines joining them they are called edges mathematically. So uh, here in this particular example uh, there are six vertices A, B, C, D, E, F which are actually the points and uh, there are lines joining these points. Uh, for example, you can see that uh, A and B, the vertex A is joined to vertex B by a line and that line is called an edge. Again, uh, we have uh, the vertex B is joined by another vertex uh, C by a line which will again be another edge in the graph. So likewise, uh, this is one example of a graph. Likewise, we can have uh, different uh, types of graphs. We can draw um, graphs in any manner using uh, vertices and edges. Now once we know what a graph is, now let me come to the three houses, three utilities problem or uh, simply the houses utilities problem. Now the houses utilities problem is a real life problem uh, in which uh, basically uh, you have three houses, uh, house one, house two and house three and uh, these houses are connected to three utilities or three facilities uh, let's say gas connection or uh, the, the second one is the cable tv connection and the third one is internet connection so three houses are connected to three utilities or three facilities and uh, it's not uh, necessary that uh, only these three facilities or these three utilities have to be taken those the three utilities would be, utilities can be taken as uh, let's say water supply or do you can take uh, some other uh, utility let's say electricity or you can have another utility let's say telephone connection so the basic uh, problem that we have in um, the houses util utilities problem is that there are three houses and all the three houses are connected to uh, three utilities or three facilities uh, by using cable wires or some wires now uh, the problem is uh, to find out whether the connections can be made between the houses and the utilities without the cable wires crossing each other because this is an obvious question that comes in our mind that is it possible to connect the houses the three houses with the three utilities so that the cable wires or the wires connecting the houses and the utilities they don't cross each other because we would not like because in, in practically speaking we would not like that the wires should cross over each other so that there is no interference uh, of connections there is no disturbance between the connections so we would like to find out whether it is possible or not now now if we take a look at this uh, diagram which represents the connections between the houses and the utilities then uh, we can view this diagram as a graph in graph theory and uh, if we view it as a graph in graph theory then we can see there are three vertices at the top which represent the three houses and there are three vertices at the bottom which represent the three utilities and these uh, six vertices the three vertices at the top and the three vertices at the bottom are connected with edges so we can view this whole diagram as a graph in graph theory and then uh, the real life problem that uh, we were trying to solve whose answer we were looking for uh, was that uh, can the three houses be connected to three utilities in such a manner so that cable wires don't cross each other so the problem can be rephrased as follows can this graph be drawn in such a manner so that the edges don't cross each other now uh, there is a concept 
of planar graphs that we have in graph theory. Now, planar graphs are those graphs which can be drawn in such a manner so that the edges don't cross each other. So, uh, the house's utilities problem using the concept of planar graphs can again be rephrased as follows. That is the graph representing the connections between the houses and the utilities. Is this graph a planar graph? So, this is basically what we want to find out whether the graph is a planar graph or not. If this graph comes out to be a planar graph, then this means that the connections can be made without the connections crossing each other. If this graph doesn't come out to be a planar graph, this means that the connections between the houses and the utilities cannot be made uh, without the connections crossing each other. The connections will cross each other. So now uh, the answer uh, to uh, this uh, question whether this graph is a planar graph or not is uh, a no because this can be seen by redrawing this graph again so when we try to redraw the graph and when we try to find out whether we can connect the houses uh, with the uh, utilities so that the edges don't cross each other, we find uh, that uh, house 1 and house 2 uh, can be connected to the 3 utilities. But the moment you try to uh, connect house 3 with the 3 utilities, gas, cable connection and internet, uh, you are not able to do that uh, without the edges crossing each other. The edges will definitely cross, uh, which means uh, that uh, the graph, uh, since the, this particular graph is not a planar graph this means that uh, this particular uh, house's utilities problem in this uh, problem the, the the diagram that we have which represents the connections uh, in this diagram the connections cannot be made without the connections crossing each other so uh, the connections will definitely cross each other since the corresponding graph is not a planar graph now in this particular house's utilities problem we have actually redrawn uh, the graph and we have tried to find out whether the corresponding uh, graph graph to this uh, connection diagram is a planar graph or not to, f uh, to find out whether it can be drawn uh, without the edges crossing each other. So, but it is actually not always necessary uh, to redraw the graph and find out whether the graph is whether the graph is planar or not. There are uh, certain results which are available in graph theory uh, and uh, certain planarity algorithms which are available uh, which help us to find out whether a given graph is planar or not. So, using those results and and uh, planarity algorithms, one can easily find out whether a given graph is a planar graph or not. And so the problems which are similar to the houses uh, utilities problem can be easily solved by